welcome back everyone. Mike here. Kind of a overcast day here in Pennsylvania. We had a little bit of rain this morning. I think we may get a little bit more this afternoon, but not too bad. Next couple of days look really nice though. This morning I'm going to head over to Neighbor Cliffs and we're going to finish up a, a little French drain project that we started this past weekend. And then we were waiting on getting some stone, which he got. So we're going to go take care of that right now. Alright, I got this all wrapped up here. This should work out really well. Uh, I kind of went over this the other day in a video, so I'll give you the short version now. But about eight years ago, we put a French drain from the end of the concrete the whole way out the driveway to where it breaks off. And then from there, we went with solid pipe because what was happening was every time it would rain real hard here, this whole area in here would get a real big puddle because it's just so flat, there's nowhere for the water to get out. So that took care of that. It worked for uh, eight years so far. Still working good. And by the way, I did not wrap that drain in cloth. I don't like doing that. I like to just fill it up to the top with stone. Works well for me. But anyway, we had that taken care of. And then over here, there was still a little bit of a problem. You get some water come off this hill, lay on this concrete here, turns to ice in the winter. So all we did was extend this drain all the way across here. Filled it up with stone, got the perforated pipe in there, holes facing down, and this will work to collect any of this water here. Now I dug this with the uh, excavator, and the smallest bucket I have is a 18-inch bucket. That's what I used. I think I am going to order a 12-inch bucket for that machine. Uh, that could come in handy, you know, here and there. Not all the time, but there's some stuff going to be happening around here in the future where I think a 12-inch bucket will be pretty handy and that is it looks like we're going to get uh, public water here sometime in the future may not be too far off maybe in the spring and so i know everybody around here i could put a 12 inch bucket on that excavator and i run a bunch of water line for people so that's kind of what i'm thinking but anyway i'm going to head back over to the house and we'll get into something else over there uh, so i'm back over at the house i wanted to mention something i have shown these 3m headphones probably I don't know, a dozen times, and I know not everybody sees uh, every video, but there were two people yesterday asked about these. 3M Bluetooth, they work fantastic. I'm pretty rough on them, uh, but they're great when you're out there mowing or running the string trimmer or chainsaw or on the tractor or whatever, but 
I use these all the time and they hold up really well. I will put a link in the description if, uh, you know, like an affiliate link if anybody wants a pair. But I love these things. Matter of fact, the other day, I couldn't find them. I mean, I looked for 45 minutes and then I remembered I set them in this uh, one room in the house downstairs that I don't go in very often. And uh, I found them. But I couldn't do anything without them. All right, it's now uh, late afternoon. I'm just hitting this grass here with a little water. Uh, we did have some rain this morning. Had a little bit of rain the other day. But with that sun and that breeze, it doesn't take long at all for it to dry right up. But it is. Uh, it turned out to be an absolutely beautiful afternoon here. It was overcast, you know, most of the day. But it's nice and cool. Beautiful, beautiful fall day. Early fall day. But we're getting there. We kind of lucked out this summer and even last summer uh, with some pretty good weather around here. The two years before that, we had like a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. and uh, But these last two years, it's been more like, I don't know, more like it was when I was younger, it seems. A little bit more normal, if that was normal. But anyway, when I got back from Neighbor Cliffs, I... Uh, Went and cleaned up that Defender that our buddy lent us. It was a Land Rover Defender because we got Hannah Subaru back. I'll show you that in a minute, but they did a nice job on it. But I'll tell you what, driving that uh, Subaru Crosstrek is a lot different than that Land Rover Defender. No doubt about it. All right, so here's a look at the uh, Subaru Crosstrek. Hunter's inside right now waiting to go somewhere. Uh, but if you remember, it had some damage right here on the front end uh, from when Hannah hit the deer. That's all fixed up. And then around back here, the whole back gate was damaged from uh, when Melissa backed into it with the Jeep. It was parked right behind the garage door there, and she left to go to the gym early. And the only part of this back that wasn't damaged was this back bumper, this whole big piece right here. But the day of the wedding, or maybe the day before, I don't know, but Hannah had wedding brain, and she backed into the tire on the MX-5400. But we got everything fixed up, looks good, and tomorrow night I'm going to meet Hannah halfway, and uh, we're going to swap out, and I'm going to get my F-150 back. Can't wait. All right, so it's been another beautiful day today, and walking over here, a couple beautiful chestnuts. There's been a, I picked them up right here. Been a couple busy squirrels in the neighborhood. They're gonna need these. I'll donate them back. All right, so Mike will be back, be back shortly, but this area here, it looks like it's gonna be a little turnaround or a bump out. Yeah, that's what I thought, it's not. We're gonna maybe uh, put a little firewood bundle or firewood stack right here. So we're gonna take this geotextile, cut it, which old man Fred, thanks very much. Had my pocket knife, my handy dandy pocket knife. I'm gonna be able to cut it and put it right here. And by that time, Mike will be back. He's got some more stone, but to my surprise and yours, this is nice stone and it was free. Didn't cost me anything. I'll tell you about it in a minute. All right, let me see. That looks about right. Ugh. Yeah? All right. All right, Mike has some nice pocket knives that he likes, uh, bench-made knives but he likes this Kershaw. And you know what, I have one too. Uh, I have to hide mine from Mike. Before you know it, it becomes Mike's. But this is really nice. And old man Fred, thanks very much. He sent those both to us. Now when I cut this, this is nice and sharp. I'm gonna try to keep tension on the roll and what I'm, I'm holding beneath me on my, with my left leg. And I'm just gonna cut because I don't want the knife going down in the stone, of course. So it's kind of like chewing it. <laughs> I'm sure you all have several comments with all of the correct opinions that's out there. I'm gonna get this down before Mike gets back and says something about it. <laughs> I 
Okay, I got a little faster, smoother, but um, looks good. All right, this is actually the perfect night to do this. It's, it's very uh, calm, no wind. We had some rain and storms last night, but uh, I've been with Mike putting down this geotextile in the wind, and I'm trying to hold my end, and he's like, line it up. I'm like, I know. <laughs> There's a storm, <laughs> it's windy. All right, so I'm gonna get this pulled back like this. Take this corner here. And I'm gonna just pick this up. Let me pull this other side. Okay. So now, yeah, so. All right, I'm gonna bring this over and pull this stuff already here up some and tuck it in like so. Okay, I just cut off a section. I'm gonna pull that up around, put it right here. Just gonna lift and tuck, you know, lift and tuck. Any of you plastic surgeons out there might understand. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay. All right. All right, now I'm gonna get a shovel and put some stone on this to hold it down. And uh, Mike should be back and be able to help me with the rest. Okay, you're gonna be excited to see this free load of stone Mike got. He can tell you a little more about it, but I'm not sure if he mentioned that big day here. We got the Subaru back. Daughter Hannah's Subaru was in the garage for almost a week and a half. Got it back, which means we plan on driving out and meeting her and getting Mike's truck back. Tell you what, it was hard returning that Defender. That was sweet. I might, uh, I might admit that I was looking at a few online, so if, I, if the Bronco doesn't make it, I think I know what I'm going to replace it with. All right, I just got back to the house. Uh, the hunt man and I had some running around to do, and Melissa put some geotextile down for me up there by the building, and I'm headed down here to check out this stone uh, that my buddy Adam dropped off today. I haven't seen it yet. But from up by the house, it looks pretty decent. We'll get a better look at it when we get closer here. But he was working on a uh, parking lot job and had to get rid of some limestone a couple miles from here. And so he brought it out here, but yeah, it looks pretty good stuff. And the price is right. There is always deer down here. See that doe and that fawn right there? It's only about uh, 25 yards from me, right there. Now, if this were hunting season, it'd be a completely different story. But they're just kind of checking me out there. There's another fawn somewhere right around here. There's a doe and two fawns, and they're pretty used to me uh, working down here. And if you stay in the machine, 
or running the sawmill. They don't care at all. Once you get out, they just kind of wander off. But anyway, back to this stone here. It's actually pretty nice stuff. Uh, it looks like mostly 2A. I'm sure there's, uh, you know, some chunks of asphalt and some debris in there. But I'm just going to put about four or five inches of this down. And then I'll put some of that clean 2A that I have up there by the building. I'll top dress it all with that. But yeah, this will work out good. And then what I have left of this, I'll probably fix this road up going down to the lower level down here. I still got some more work to do down there. But fix this road up here. And then I can just coat that road with this. It'll keep me out of the mud. So as you know, this time of year it's starting to get uh, darker earlier. And what's happening is I keep going to bed a little bit earlier which that's okay, but that means I wake up earlier and earlier. So I need to uh, kind of get a hold of that situation. This morning, I was up for the day at 3.30 a.m. Uh, so tonight, I'm gonna try to stay up a little bit later. Normally, I like to get up about 4.30 or 5, but uh, yeah, 3.30 is pretty early.
All right, I think I need uh, maybe just one more bucket, shape up the edges a little bit. But I don't know if, uh, yeah, I think we told you. I think I'm going to put like a nice firewood rack right there. You know, something that will hold maybe one quarter of wood with a little roof over it. And tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to try to get out in the woods and get some more of that red pine out because I need some wood for that and also uh, a fueling station. We were talking about getting... Oh, yeah. Getting a couple tanks, one for diesel and one for ethanol-free gas. This would be a good spot for it. I was thinking up here, but do I want it that close to the building? You know, I don't think it really matters. But yeah, it'd be, it would be a good spot actually. I think so. This I like could. That idea. Yeah. It would be total fuel. I mean, gas, diesel, and firewood all in one spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But for the tanks, you know, I'd like to have some of the roof over top of it as well. Okay. You know. So, little three-sided thing if you say so but cutting that wood this time of year uh it won't dry till spring so we'll just put it up green and then by spring it'll be kind of gray pressure wash it and then stain it okay. you know kind of be what we do all right but do you want to wrap this video up melissa yeah. yeah thanks so much for being here for watching for liking and subscribing and you know what i also want to thank everybody i've been trying to pound out some more thank you cards so thanks to everybody that sent in the license plate oh we really enjoy that the way to we'll have to do it in another video the pictures that came with that one today oh yeah we'll, we'll show you that it's amazing but we'll show you that in the next video yeah and it's just been great we really appreciate it we enjoy that as a family we sit down and go over the letters that you send with your license plates the cool license plates the stories and yeah a lot of you've attached some pictures to some things that you thought we might enjoy and you're right we sure did so i want to thank you so much make sure you go to our facebook and instagram which is outdoors with the morgans and follow along we usually make one post a day and then we add some things to our story some behind the scenes things i think you'll enjoy that so thanks for being here we'll see you on the next one thanks